Hey, what's up everyone? Mike here, and I've got Dane and Zasha who are going to be helping me out with this beginner flow skills class. So because this is a beginner class, it means two things. One of them is that we will be building each movement as we build the flow and we'll be alternating sides. It also means that we will begin with a wrist preparation sequence or our wrist mobilizations. So let's first begin with our wrist mobs, getting our hands and wrists warmed up for this flow and then I'll demonstrate the flow and then we'll start building each movement. Are you guys ready? Yes. Cool. All right. So let's start with some wrist rolls. And so we're just going to take our hands and clasp the fingers together. And we'll simply begin to roll one hand around the other hand. Now, while we're doing this, we want to make sure that we stay out of painful ranges. So if we have a particular angle that feels a little bit pinchy or maybe a little bit uncomfortable, we're going to cut the movement just shy of that discomfort. We're looking for as much fluidity in the transition from one hand rolling around the other, and we're just making sure that we're continuously breathing during these wrist mobs. Go ahead and switch directions. Now, we always recommend that you begin and end every animal flow session with your wrist mobilizations. We do have a long duration wrist mobile video that you can find here that's about 15 minutes, which has a lot of hand and wrist preparation. We also have a short form duration wrist mode video as well. It's about five minutes. Okay, so from here we're gonna go into our wrist waves. So we'll go elbows out to the side, palms down. We'll initiate the wave with the right elbow. As we lift, that transitions through the same side wrist, through the hands to the opposite wrist, and eventually to the opposite elbow. And we'll continue the wave in the same direction. Again, keeping the palms down thinking about a nice fluid wave going from the elbow lift through the wrist, through the hands, the opposite wrist, and eventually out to the opposite elbow. And then after this one, we'll just simply switch directions. So you may find that you have a direction that seems less connected or clunkier than the opposite direction. If that's the case, feel free to spend more time in the direction it feels a little bit more disconnected. And from here, we're just gonna go into what we call a lateral opening or a lateral wrist movement. So what we're looking for is a sensation of opening on the outside of the wrist. So we're gonna bring our fingers together, palms down, thumbs together, bringing our thumbs in towards our chest. Elbows are out to the side. So what I'm looking for again is a sensation of opening here. So as I drive away, I wanna keep the palms down. If I bring my palms forward, I've changed the mobilization. So I drive the thumbs together, Palms down. If I can't fully extend the elbows or straighten the elbows, it's okay. And then back in. So we're just going to do about five of these. So drive away. Back in. And drive away. Back in. And last two. And then for the last mobilization, we're actually just gonna call this our wrist relief position. So because we're gonna, going to be spending so much time on our hands in what's known as extension, anytime you're feeling discomfort or you're feeling a little bit too much fatigue, just find this position, which means fingers down, back of the hands together, elbows out to the side. If I want to intensify this stretch, I can always bring the elbows down, again, keeping the back of the hands in contact with each other. So find this position if you're feeling too much stress in your wrists. I also do wanna mention if this is one of your first classes, remember we will be spending the entire class on our hands. So if you need to take a break at any time, pause the video and then jump back in when you're ready. Your body will adapt with more exposure to this practice. Okay, so let's take it down to the floor. You guys ready to get started? All right, so again, I'm going to demonstrate the flow first and then we'll start breaking it down, building the movements. Oh. 
Okay, so that's the entire flow, and we're just gonna alternate that to each side. So the first movement that you saw was something we call a jumping underswitch, and we did the jumping underswitch, and it transitions into a crab reach. So let's first learn the jumping underswitch. So in order to do that, we're gonna set crab facing this direction. We're gonna place the hands with the fingers pointing behind us. We're gonna place the feet hip width, the hands are shoulder width, or slightly wider. We're gonna slide our hips all the way towards the heels, slide the hips all the way towards the hands, find the midpoint between those two points, shoulder blades back, drive them down, lifting the hips roughly one inch from the ground. From here, we're gonna bring our gaze from the horizon to the rising sun. So as if the sun has just broken over the horizon, we're bringing our eyes up, tilting our head back just slightly. So this is our crab position. You guys hang out here for a second. If I were to do a left leg jumping under switch, it's gonna look like this. So I'm going from crab to crab. Go ahead and relax. So from here, if I wanna perform a jumping under switch, I need to lift the call out foot. So if I call out left leg jumping under switch, I simultaneously lift left foot and right hand. So let's just alternate between those a couple times, guys. So set crab. If I were to call out left leg jumping under switch, you lift left foot, right hand, bring it back down. If I were to call out right leg jumping under switch, you lift right foot, left hand, bring it back down. Okay, let's alternate. Left leg jumping under switch, lift. Back to crab, right leg jumping under switch, lift. Back to crab, left leg jumping under switch, lift. Back to crab, right leg jumping under switch, lift. Back to crab. Okay, so now that we're ready, now that we know what we call our contralateral limb lift, all that means is we're lifting the opposite hand and foot. So if I were to call out left leg jumping under switch, the actual jumping under switch means that I'm gonna lift the foot and the hand and jump into the rotation. But if this is your first class, that might be a little bit too progressed. So what we're going to do is the regression of a jumping under switch. So go ahead and set crab again. And you guys can join me on this. If I call out left leg jumping under switch, I'm gonna lift left foot, right hand. I'm gonna push on the gas, that means lifting the right heel. As I begin to rotate, I'm going to simply jump to the left foot and float the right foot. Now, all I have to do is take the right foot through the window that I've just created. Okay, let's reposition, guys. So again, we'll do that exact same thing to the right side, so set crab. Let's go right leg jumping under switch, so lift right foot, left hand, push on the gas, begin to rotate, now jump to right foot, floating left foot, which can now transition through the window. Okay, so we're just gonna alternate those. So set crab, left leg jumping under switch, lift, push on the gas, begin to rotate, jump to the left foot, taking the right foot through the window. All right, from here, let's go right leg jumping under switch, lift, push on the gas, jump to right foot, pause, take the leg through the window. Okay, and relax guys. So one little tip I wanna layer on there, Whenever we jump to the foot, take a glance with your eyes down at the foot that you're landing on. We wanna make sure that the toes are pointing towards the same side wrist. So we don't wanna jump and land on an already rotated foot, meaning here. I wanna make sure the toes are towards the knee, which is pointing towards the wrist. All right, so let's continue to alternate between those two. Set crab. Left leg jumping under switch. Right leg jumping under switch. <laughs> Left leg jumping under switch. <laughs> right leg jumping under switch. <laughs> and relax guys, cool. So if I'm feeling like I've got a pretty good handle on that, what I may try to do is the actual jumping under switch, which means after I lift the limbs, I'm going to jump into the rotation. So I'm not gonna rotate with the foot on the ground. I wanna try to leave the ground and then rotate. So Dane, why don't you stick with the regression? Sasha, you can join me for the jumping under switch. So just remember what that looks like. I lift, and instead of lifting just the heel, I'm actually gonna jump off the entire foot and rotate. Then I can go through the window. Okay. so. If you want the regression, stay with Dane. If you want to take the full jumping under switch, stay with Sasha and I. Okay, set crab. 
Left leg jumping under switch. Lift, jump two, take it through. Right leg jumping under switch. Lift, jump two, take it through. Left leg jumping under switch. Right leg jumping under switch. Cool, and relax guys. Just so you know, we are pausing in that modified beast to show the proper alignment but once we get really good at jumping under switches, it is one fluid motion. So if I were to perform a sequence of jumping under switches, so it is that fluid transition from crab to crab, but since we're doing a beginner class, we're focusing on the midpoint. All right, so now let's add in our crab reach. So if I were to perform a right arm crab reach, I would set crab, I would bring my hand up to where I'm looking through the hand, so it's right between my eyes. As I begin to drive the feet down, I drive the hips up, I allow the shoulder to rotate outwardly. What I'm looking for first is what we call three-point bridge. That means it's a full opening of the hip. Once I see that, then I can go for the reach. But let's practice just getting to three-point bridge. So guys, join me. Let's go crab position. And let's go right arm crab reach, stopping at three-point bridge, driving the feet down, pushing the hips high, allowing the shoulder to rotate outwardly. Pause. I'm looking for a full opening here, and then I'm gonna come back down. Drop the right hand, left hand, good. Left arm crab reach. And drop it back down. Let's go two more each side. Right arm crab reach. Return to crab. Left arm crab reach. Return to crab, right arm crab reach. Return to crab, left arm crab reach. And return to crab. Great job guys, relax. So again, I mentioned that three point bridge. Now the only way you'll probably be able to tell if you're able to hit that three point bridge is if you maybe take a quick video of yourself. Because in order for us to go into the actual reach, we have to see that we've gotten a complete opening of the hip. If you're still anywhere where you have a closed hip, you're not going to reach yet. Your goal will just be to hit a clean three-point bridge. However, if you can get full opening of the hip, then we'll go into the reach. Whenever we go into the reach, I'm gonna bring the arm up and over. I wanna stack the upper shoulder on top of the lower shoulder. I wanna frame the head with the arm, fingertips down towards the ground. I'm looking towards the base arm, and then I'm gonna reach with the fingertips towards the floor. Then I'll look for the hand as I come back down. I'll do the same thing on the opposite side. You guys ready to crab reach? All right, set crab. Right arm crab reach. Hit three point bridge, up and over. Remember, if you can't hit a solid three point bridge, just make that your goal. Okay, return to crab. Left arm crab reach. Three point bridge, up and over. Upper shoulder stacked on top of lower. Bring it back down. Right arm crab reach. Return to crab. Left arm crab reach. Return to crab. All right, great job guys. So now let's add our two movements together. So we know our jumping under switch, we know our crab reach. If I were to put those together, I'm in crab, a left leg jumping under switch into crab reach means I see my modified beast position. I go through the window, but from here, I'm now set up for the reach. So I go directly into the reach from there. So the into part means I'm not dropping the hand, I'm going straight into the reach. So you guys join me for these? Let's set crab. <clears throat> Left leg jumping under switch into, look for the foot, take it through. Left arm crab reach. Return to crab. Right leg jumping under switch into, right arm crab reach. Again, not dropping the hand, going right into the reach. Return to crab. 
Left leg jumping under switch into left arm crab reach. Return to grab. Right leg jumping under switch into right arm crab reach. And return to crab. Okay, solid work. So from here, <clears throat> we just have to find what we call a loaded beast position. And so a loaded beast is going to look like this. And the best way we found to get into a loaded beast is to get there from what we call static beast. So you guys can join me for this. Let's go hand shoulder width, glance underneath the body, make sure the knees and the feet are hip width. From here, the toes are tucked under, the knees are just in front of the hip, they may align with the belly button, so if I were to draw a straight line down, it may intersect. From here, I'm gonna lift the knees one inch from the floor. From here, I'll push the hips back towards the heels, allowing the knees to open up. Still keeping the knees roughly one inch from the ground, I'll slide or walk the hands forward, dropping the head between the arms, not through or above, right between, shoulders hugging towards ears. Pulling the knees out from the hips, and relax, guys. So in order to get into that position, we just have to underswitch into it from crab. So let's go ahead and set crab in the same exact way that we have been. <clears throat> we'll perform the underswitch, so lift your left foot and right hand, push on the gas, begin the rotation. Hands shoulder width, knees and feet hip width. Push the hips back, allowing the knees to flare open. Walk or slide the hands forward. Shoulders hugging towards ears, knees pulling outward from the hips, and relax. Let's do that same thing, starting with the right leg. So right leg under switch, lift, push on the gas. Find that beast position, push hips back. Allowing knees to flare open, walk or slide the hands. And let's reposition to crab. Let's do that one more time with each leg. So set crab position. Let's go left leg under switch to loaded beast. Push hips back, walk or slide the hands forward. And reposition. Let's go right leg under switch to loaded beast, lift, push on the gas. Hips go back, slide or walk the hands forward, and relax, guys. Awesome. Okay, so let's add that to our flow. So now we have the jumping under switch into crab reach. We'll return to crab and then under switch to loaded beast. So let's set crab, let's get to it. Left leg jumping under switch into left arm crab reach. Return to crab into, don't drop the hand, right leg under switch to loaded beast. And let's set crab again. Right leg jumping under switch into right arm crab reach. Return to crab into, don't drop the hand, left leg under switch. To loaded beast. Okay, and relax guys. Cool. So now that we're in loaded beast, we just have to learn something called a beast reach. And so a beast reach is going to look like this. I'll begin in loaded beast. I'm going to take my left leg with me. So if I start to lift my hips up towards the sky, I'm going to bring this leg as soon as I can. I'm going to go up to what we call peak position. Notice the heel is high off the ground. The knee is fully extended. Once I'm here, I can begin kind of like a wave that travels forward. At the end position, what I'm looking for is to get this knee at roughly elbow level, keep the shoulders driving apart as I press into the ground, the back leg is straight and my eyes will be forward. From there, I'll tuck the chin and I'll reverse back up to peak position before coming back down. So it's gonna look like this again. Left leg beast reach, I go up, I take the leg with me, I hit that peak position, Tuck, roll forward, eyes forward, squeeze that right glute. When I'm ready to come back, back, I tuck, I push, find that peak position again, bending the base leg, coming back to start. 
So let's do two each side, shall we? So set loaded beast. Let's go left leg beast reach, carry the leg with you. Hit that peak position, tuck the chin, roll forward, knee coming outside the same side arm, eyes forward, squeeze that right glute. Tuck the chin, push the ground away, find that peak position, coming back down to start. Let's go right leg beast reach, up, peak position, roll forward, eyes forward, push the shoulders apart, squeeze that left glute, tuck the chin, come back. Left leg, beast reach. Here we go. Return to loaded beast. Right leg, beast reach. Return to loaded beast. And relax, guys. Solid work, team, okay. So just remember, if any of these movements are too intense or you need a longer break, pause the video, take the break, jump back in whenever you're ready. So let's now add that to our flow. We'll go through the entire sequence once to each side, then we'll add in the next movement, which will bring us pretty close to finishing up. So set crab. <clears throat> left leg jumping under switch to left arm crab reach. Return to crab into right leg, under switch to loaded beast. Left leg, beast reach. Return to loaded beast. Okay guys, let's set crab again, and then we're gonna face this direction. Here we go. Right leg jumping under switch to right arm crab reach. Return to crab into left leg under switch to loaded beast. Right leg beast reach. Return to loaded beast. And there we have it. Relax guys, great job. Great job to everyone at home. So. For our next movement in the flow, that beast reach is going to turn into something we call a front step through. So once I'm in that in position of beast reach, I'm going to lift the hand so the foot can land. From here, all I have to do is take the leg through the window that I've created. So notice this space. If my window is too small, I'm gonna have a real hard time getting through. So I've got to create a window that's large enough for me to get through into the front kick through position. So I'm here, I take the leg through, and what I'm looking for, pointed toes, straighten knee, I'm rotated outward, which means kneecap is pointing that direction. I'm taking my arm and I'm putting it in what we call guarded position. So as if I had my arm overhead, I'll pull it directly down into the ribs or the side ribs, this is my guarded position. From here, I can reverse the movement, stepping through, and then replacing the hand and foot. So replacing the foot with the hand, I drive back to start position. So from loaded beast, we're going to practice the beast reach to front step through on both sides. You guys ready? Okay, so let's set loaded beast facing this direction. <clears throat> let's go left leg beast reach, so up, carry the leg with us. And remember, this is a simultaneous action. Drop the foot, lift the hand. <sighs> Making sure my window is big enough to get through. Palm forward, elbow pulling back. I go through the window. <sighs> Toes pointed, knees straightened, rotated outward, arm in guarded position. <sighs> Reverse, so I take the leg back through. Arm still tucked in. Then I replace the hand and foot. <sighs> Right leg beast reach. I go up, I carry the leg with me. 
and quick change, go. Take the leg through. And then I'll take the leg back through. Step and replace. Okay, relax guys. So from that front kick through position or front step through, I do have the option of doing what we call pop it back to loaded beast. All that means is that I'm going to retract that leg forcefully jumping back into a loaded beast position. If that seems like too much for you, you can simply step back in. So Sasha, why don't you step back or return to versus jumping? So Dane and I will pop back. That means jumping back into loaded beast position. Let's just do one on each side. Here we go, set loaded beast. Left leg beast reach. To front step through. Okay, now return to loaded beast or pop back. Go. Right leg beast reach. To front step through. Pop it back or return to loaded beast. And relax, guys. Okay, so we know the entire flow now. All we have to do is put it together. So we're gonna go through the entire flow starting with the left leg, then we'll go through the entire flow starting with the right leg. So let's position in crab. Here we go. Left leg jumping under switch to left arm crab reach. Return to crab into right leg under switch to loaded beast. Left leg beast reach. To front step through. Pop it back or return to loaded beast. Nice, okay, so let's set crab facing this direction. We'll go for the other side. Right leg jumping under switch into right arm crab reach. Return to crab into left leg under switch to loaded beast. Right leg beast reach. To front step through. Pop it back or return to loaded beast. And relax guys. Okay, great job everyone. So we're just gonna go through it one more time. Then you get to decide if you wanna to continue to practice the flow or if this is enough for you for your first class or as a beginner class. Just remember, we always recommend that you finish up your practice with your wrist mobilizations. Okay, you guys ready? This is our final round. Let's make it count. Here we go. Crab positions. Left leg jumping under switch to left arm crab reach. Return to crab into right leg under switch to loaded beast. Left leg beast reach to left leg front step. Through. Pop it back or return to loaded beast. Okay, let's set crab facing this direction. Right leg jumping under switch to right arm crab reach. Return to crab into left leg under switch to loaded beast. Right leg beast reach. To right leg front step through. Pop it back or return to loaded beast. And relax guys. Dane, Sasha, great job guys. Great job to everyone at home. So that's our beginner flow. Remember, this is a flow skills class. If you wanna just practice any of those movements, you can always watch this same class again, pausing, rewinding as many times as you need. You can also go to our tutorial section to check out the full length tutorial of each of the movements in that flow. Finish up with your wrist mobs. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Thanks to everyone at home. 
We'll see you real soon. <laughs>